Now, well, we've been tracking COVID-19 cases in schools for you since the start of the pandemic to help keep your family informed. The most recent numbers show a steady decline in cases across the Bay Area. We reached out to school districts for more information about recent mitigation efforts. Our Larissa Scott explains where things stand right now. COVID-19 cases in schools are something local medical and school leaders have been tracking closely for nearly a year now, but especially the past few months. We know you may not be hearing about cases at your child's school as frequently anymore, and that's because some school districts have stopped notifying families of positive cases if the student isn't directly impacted. Here's an overview of what's happening in schools across the Bay Area right now. COVID-19 spread was a big concern for local doctors when students came back from winter break. That's why you'll notice on these graphs we made for you that cases increased in January in most school districts. But this month, many schools are seeing a decrease in cases across the board. We reached out to school leaders in the Bay Area to see if there was a reason behind the decline. They tell us they've continued the same mitigation efforts since the start of the pandemic and believe the decrease in COVID-19 cases in schools is a result of cases going down in the community. We recently heard from Hillsborough County teachers who describe what it's been like working during the pandemic. But I think the best thing about this school year is that just how respectful everyone has been about like the COVID guidelines, because honestly, I didn't think that in-person school would last this long. We put together a map of COVID-19 cases at each school ourselves across the Bay Area to help you track the numbers, especially now that you may not be getting notified of cases as frequently. You can find that on abcactionnews.com where you can search for your child's individual school and we'll of course keep you updated on this story. Reporting from Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.